Chicho fucking up centralized power in natural ASMR since I can remember. <laughs> Roland Red Chicho, your war against centralized power is constant and will know uh, and well known to those that have followed you. What was your first experience regarding centralized power that opened your eyes? My first experience regarding centralized power. I think it was sort of cumulative. I mean, my first experience. Look. The, the the veil was lifted for me when i was really young regarding news right because when i came to canada we came in 1978 i didn't speak a word of english it was doing iran contra affair and iran was being demonized for years after that after the ayatollahs took over and you know the shawl was removed and stuff like this and you would watch the news as a kid right and then i learned how to speak english and stuff and then i figured out what the news was saying as a kid you hear the mainstream corporate propagandists say things about iran and i'd be like going oh, that's not true that's bullshit <laughs> that's, that's a lie and then once you realize that's bullshit and then you look at the other stuff that they're reporting you go oh what are they saying there one of the first places i went to to look at what was really going on was at the same time that this stuff was happening in the early 1980s right um was ireland northern ireland and the the mainstream propagandas the irish report are bad terrorists this this and i started looking into this right and bobby sands right we did a reading of bobby sands poem very important poem very important poem terrorist and even right now terrorist are you a terrorist if you fight against an occupying force that is brutalizing your family, your people, that is coming, trying to commit genocide on you? Were the Native Americans that fought against the British, the French, and the Spanish colonial powers, were they terrorists? For sure, at the time, they were considered terrorists by the occupying forces, by the imperial powers. Do we now consider them to be terrorists? Do you consider i don't i don't know I, i'm not even going to pretend i know some of the some of the names of the first nations people that occupied this land but i don't i don't know their history behind them right but one of the ones i know is this standing rock right one of the places you know is that event that happened in 1960s 70s where the fbi agent was killed on uh is it in nevada oh man out brutalizing the history of this i looked into this do we consider the indigenous population of canada the united states to be terrorists right and then once once you open up the floodgate on that level that you know they're telling you bullshit bullshit on on a on a level that is just unbelievable then you should realize that it doesn't stop with that bullshit what else have they programmed you with that is completely false that's why i say after graduating grade 12 if it was my world i'd make sure everyone had one year of psychedelic experience to 